Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, we are about to solve uh, double two one zero winter nineteen question uh, question paper two three question number five. That is uh, about a soda board, and in this soda board we are using a dry run. Uh, usually these dry run comes with uh, flow charts, but in this uh, situation, in this scenario. We have it with the pseudo code, so we are about to solve it. Uh, the the grid which is over here at the bottom, I have make uh, made it for you people over here, and we are about to update it in this area. Uh, they ask us to complete the trace table uh, for the for the input data, that is ten and uh, let's see how we can flow with this one so what the question is <coughs> about uh, algorithm perform the operation on the array name my data so they have uh, created a, a array and data of the array is given over here which is index value 0 to index value 16 and on uh, th there there is th on every index uh they have a different value so uh, let's see which one is about to use in this program they are using div function which is a division function means integer division so only the whole number part of the result is written that is 7 is div with the 2 means return of uh, value of 3 uh, in if we are not using the integer division method it should be 3.5 <coughs> but uh, in this case we have 3 because we are about to truncate the decimal place now what uh, we have to do is to initiate with this area and then going to put this input so what is in these lines the first the last and the found so we are about to update it over here first is uh, zero as you can see over here so i'm going to put zero over here then last variable is 16 placing it over here and in a found I have false so I am going to write it as false the user input is as we have already seen that this is only 10 so we can update it now at the next line user input is 10 now let's flow with the program while first is less than and equals to last which is already it is uh, uh, less than equals to and found equals to false so there are two conditions found should be false and this should be less than last so what we have to do do middle there is uh, another variable they are going to use and in middle what we have to do is to add these numbers first and two and divide it with the with the two so once we are going to do it <coughs> once we are about to use it we have to input it over here and once we are about to calculate so 16 divided by 2 is a straightforward 8 and if my data now this is the variable this is the sorry array and here we have the value of whatever we have calculated over here which is 8 so in my data on that area if it is 8 and this is equals to user in which is user input 
so let's see what is on this array and location number 8 this is 14 so location number 8 is 14 which is not equal to definitely 10 <coughs> then what we have to do if this thing is equals to then do such and such thing which is uh, put found put uh, true in the found uh, we are going into else case because it's not happening so if user input is less than my data so user input is less than middle it is less than then what we have to do is to uh, minus one from the middle and put it in the last so minus one uh, from the middle and put it into the last but from this location we have to add these ones again in usual in flowcharts we are not putting it again and again but in this we have to and the false as well so we were here and in the last I have to put 7 8 minus 1 that is what is happening and then there is no else part right now we are going to end if end if and with the end while we are going to come back remember that uh, again first is still 0 so we are going to write it over here user input is again 10 there is no update now what uh, what this says that if if uh, first is less than last yes it is it's still and found is false uh, it was false and still it is uh, having this uh, false status with it so uh, we are update going to update it over here again do what in the middle first plus so first plus means uh, this one seven total seven and in total seven we are going to divide it by two and that is what they have provided seven divided by two should be three uh, it should not be 3.5 or any anything else so we are going to place three over here now is this uh, three right now the location number three is six right now so my data location number three is six right now is it equals to user input no so we are going to jump and the in the else part is this user in which is 10 is less than middle which is location number three or uh, and the data is six no it is still not so we are going to jump into the else part of this if the this nested if and we are going to add middle with one so middle was three and we are going to update it with one that is going to become four still we have uh, uh, we have lost with the seven so uh, what and the user in was 10 let's go back and find out is this first is less than last now what was the last last was seven so we are going to put it over here first is less than last yes it is and found equals to false uh, so found equals to false do middle was in the last so 4 and 7 11 uh, is going to divide by 2 again so uh, we are truncating the decimal place 5 is going to come up over here 
now what they said that uh, if my data of 5 so my data of 5 is 10 here is equals to user input so is it is equals to user input right now if it is then put true over here we are about to write true over here and uh, definitely we don't have to go into the else part because uh, the condition is satisfied and while and uh, the condition is completely satisfied so we are not going to iterate it the next uh, part because found is true right now uh, while while is uh, we are going to assume that while and while is over here is completed I'm going to output the found so output found is right now true so we are going to write it over here and that's it uh, this was uh, the section A was of six marks because of six different columns and six different columns and if you are going to put it in a sequence so you will get 100% marks thank you very much